I right, hello and welcome to the Escapist Center Perks walkthrough. I'm gonna be escape this prison in an easy, copy-friendly manner. I'm not gonna cheese out day one. Well, I'm I'm gonna try and escape day one. It just depends on a slight luck if I'm gonna escape day one or not. Um, yeah. So let's just get into it. Hmm. So first of all, I'm gonna start off by trying to get four forks in the cafeteria right away, pretty much. I'm not gonna need myself a weapon because I'm not really gonna fight. I'm just gonna check what the, the people have to sell in case anything useful that I can pick up and get. That file I do need, I really do need that. I can get you that right away actually. That is a very nice quest to get right away. Who was it? It's Noah. Like, ooh, that does not give me enough, does it? Oh shit, that is really fucking good. Okay, I filed right away. That's that was way more than I expected. Now I'm gonna try and see if I can get four forks. If I can get four forks, we're pretty much out day one, easy. Oh, damn! This locker man is unreal real right now. I right, that that's pretty much all we need to. That is, that is pretty much all luck based items we need to escape this day. Now we're just gonna ship down this wall to 4%. Uh, we're gonna chip on till 9.30, then we're gonna go down and eat breakfast to get our fatigue down, so we can do this in the free time as well. To get get this wall down. Uh, I'm just gonna walk over to the. Yeah, now we're gonna walk over to the cafeteria and just get the fatigue down to zero and also talk a little bit with the cops to try and keep the opinion high because we don't want them to search our cell at the night because if they do that we're gonna get we're not gonna be able to escape day one either that's pretty much the bad last bad thing uh, yeah I'll take that quest what are you selling I think we should like this thought okay I can't believe I legit found that file right away. Unreal. Ooh. Guards can walk in here. You will probably not see an uh, inmate walk in here. I've never seen an inmate walk in here, so that's probably not gonna happen. But keep an eye out for a guard because they will clearly not be too happy if they see you tripping down this wall. Gotta be careful to us so that I don't actually break the wall because if I break the wall that won't be too good either. I wanna get it low but no. I think four forks should be enough. Yeah 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 well. Okay, cool. Just making sure that I don't need more. Alright, cool. Now now we have that prepared, we have the file. We're just gonna go around and pick up people's um, Bedware, because we're gonna need. You're gonna attack me now. Oh shit, you're gonna attack me. Alright, I'm out, I'm out. Please, please don't. Need that chicken. Just get get the fatigue down. Uh, we're gonna need pillows, and uh, we can create ourselves the bed dummy. I need more intelligence for that, okay? That kinda sucks. But that's a pretty easy fix. Just. Browse some porn on the computer and you will get your intelligence up instantly, like, like exactly like in real life. I've got the bed dummy, I just need another sheet and we're good to go. Alright, now we're good to go. Just rush down to lunch as quickly as possible before they get too mad at us for missing this one. Alright. That was bad by me, I could have definitely gotten down my fatigue almost fully, but kinda of fucked up. Laundry job. Okay, so in the laundry job we're gonna get ourselves the guard outfit to get out. A very simple way to get that. I'm just gonna leave the fork there as well. I gotta go get a knife as well in the cafeteria before I forget. Suck at 
this. <laughs> I will need one more. Alright, that's cool. We can watch the card outfit as well because we're gonna need that. Throw this out. Then we're gonna change to the guard outfit. This is very important because the metal detector that's right there will not notice us if we walk through with the guard outfit. But it will also will. But it will alarm if we walk out with it in our inventory. So now we have everything we need except for the. Psh, actually, no, we don't need that. We found a way to not need that anymore get ourselves a knife and I think we're good to go for the escape now we just pretty much have to stall the day out until night time so yeah yeah we're golden just... so I'll try and keep our opinion up with the guards and just see oh shit he hates me that's not good. How much does that bring up? Does that bring one up? Oh boy, that's not gonna be fun. I hope this guy does not be get really mad and search my cell. Even though I have a feeling he will. If they have every single guard have 50 opinion, you're pretty much a certain that very easy escape. I was kind of being kind of not cautious at the beginning and just making them get mad at me for not being sure where I was supposed to be but I think we can, think we can solve it since we've done everything else quickly Alright so right about this point my sound broke in the recording so now I'm post commentary for the rest of the video not not that big a deal since I've done major to the important stuff already. So for the rest of the video, I'm pretty much just gonna follow the day out like I said before and uh, suck up to the guards and just keep their opinion high. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I have the music of the start screen in the background just rather than having silence, I figured it would be better with just a little bit of music. Now I would speed up the video if I actually knew how the fuck to do that. I guess I'll figure that out later for further videos, but right now I have no clue how to do that, so sadly that's not gonna happen. So right there I find out that there was a, another god, Baron, that I also needed the opinion of. And I also found out that I could not interact with him through the wall. Um, so currently I think Darren is at 32 opinion and Michael, another god, is at like 32 as well. Actually, no, I think he's at 37. Um, just picking up the quest for no real reason. Interacting with the guard just to make sure they stay high enough in case they do something bad that they dislike And I do check what he that guy is selling a lot of times. I'm sorry, but it's just autopilot Won't be too long more now, so we can actually get to the escape itself, which will start at about 22 in game time. And as well, what I'm, why I'm doing this, like more particular, uh, 
during the night time they will s if you hang up um, bed sheets over your cell the guards will say no privacy allowed and they will remove them uh, if your opinion is below 50 if it is above 50 they will allow the privacy and they will not remove them in other words they will keep it let it be there and if you have that there and a bed dummy they have no way of seeing you not being there and here yeah, I was lucky, thought I was done, and then I found out that it was Michael as well that needed to be interacted with to get the 50 opinion on him as on him as well. On him as well. Stalker Simulator 2015, pretty much right now. I actually managed to get this guy to 49 opinion and then I pussy out because of this warning inmates must be inside by 22 I got scared that I wasn't gonna make it back to the door by 22 and get shot which would completely ruin the escape I would lose all my items and shit so I decided to get up my intelligence in case I was going to create something more that I forgot I didn't end up creating anything more, but just to be safe, since the bed dummy, I needed 34, and since I fucked up on that before. So now at 22:20, I head to my cell and I start preparing my cell for the escape itself. Accidentally pick up the desk. Wait for him to go by. I, I apply the bed dummy. And hang up the sheets, which I'm sure you can clearly see yourself. And I got kind of scared that their opinion was going to go down when I walked through them and got the warning, but fortunately that didn't decrease it at all. Uh, I chipped down the wall and just walk in quickly and close it after me. I got one key that is useless for me actually at this point. And when you get up the roof, you should just head up straight to the left. And uh, there's going to be a right way that you turn. And there's going to be like a pipe of some sort that you can walk on. Be very careful when you walk on this. Because if you walk to the side, you will fall off. Which I do intentionally here. Because I need to chip through here. Or cut through here, I guess would be the correct wording. And so I just used the file and the knife to cut my way through. I think if you did this very quickly and you perhaps had uh, flimsy cutters or cutting floss, you could probably get out before the time hits zero or midnight, whatever you want to call it. Technically we escaped day two in game I guess, but it's still like we haven't slept yet so yeah. I got really scared that the knife was going to break. but. that's the escape um, hopefully this was hopefully in any way at all I was got really proud of the school because I was looking at the high schools before and I realized that this was actually hella close to the leaderboard so I did some mistakes at the beginning perhaps you can get a high score with that escape so yeah well that was it thanks for watching and uh, peace